Good morning, it is five days post off. I'm feeling amazingly well. I finally slept really, really good. So I got to my parents' house. I drove seven hours from San Diego uh, down, or excuse me, up to the Central Valley. So um, woke up with another, a puffy face again, but the puffy faces I've been waking up with every morning, they're decreasing, I would say every single day. Had a little bit more of an appetite today. I just had like a breakfast sandwich with some coffee. I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm definitely noticing a difference in my thirst. Um, so yeah, finally slept super, super solid. I probably slept like about 10 hours, maybe even a little bit more. And it was just because I had blackout shades. Finally, like the lighting was just so bright at the Airbnb I was staying at. Um, I feel like I need to search for Airbnbs with um, blackout curtains next time. But um, yeah, just like walking around in the house, I feel so, so good. The hardest thing I would say is it's always like dreadful to go to the bathroom. That's mainly because unzipping the faja in my crotch area is just like kind of hard to get to. And the foam board in the middle makes it hard to like bend over. So for me, when I pick something up, I usually just like squat or I like try to kneel down to get it. So the foam board is like the most uncomfortable aspect of it. But um, I haven't taken painkillers in like two days. I did a massage yesterday morning. I have another massage tomorrow morning. And um, I'm just shocked <laughs> by how good I feel. The only thing I'm concerned about is I feel like my hips have too much fat on them. I hope a lot of that goes away once like the swelling goes down. Um, I just, I just, it's too big. <laughs> the butt's too big, but I'm really happy, you know, with like my side profile. Um, been trying to wear my head thing as much as possible, but definitely not wearing it nearly as much. Uh, definitely like I can't, have no feeling. I have a lot of like um, numbness here, slight soreness, but I'm definitely able to move more than usual. Still some, I think, bruising in this area. And then um, oh, what else about bruising? Yeah, I mean, I'm still obviously like pretty bruised, but it, like I don't even think that when I touch my bruises, they hurt. My whole torso is still extremely, extremely numb. And every time I touch it, it actually gives me the chills which is kind of weird. I'm able to get dressed alone now. I'm able to do so many things alone. The only hard part is getting into bed and laying on my stomach and trying to get the sheets and the blankets over me. That part can be a little bit challenging. Um, but overall, I am just shook <laughs> by how good I feel. So gonna go visit some family today, have some friends visiting now. And um, yeah, just a lot to be excited about. Attitude, right? So much of this comes down to attitude mindset. I feel like as soon as I switch, turn the switch of like, okay, Mariah, stop moving around like you're a stiff old lady because I thought it was just in my head and I was also kind of afraid to like tear things, even though the incisions are so small that uh, once I was like, just move normally, like stop, you know, moving around like an old lady. That was like a huge game game changer for me and I just was able to feel so much more normal. So one thing that I wanted to add to this video is the whole point of massages. So I did not have time to prepare when it came to scheduling my massages ahead of time. So, and also there was a component of, I did my procedure in La Jolla and then I went to go visit my parents in uh, Northern California and then I came back home to Puerto Rico. So by now I've actually had four different massage therapist that I have gone to. I recommend going to massagetherapy.com to find one in your area and then you can also search for people that are certified when it comes to lymphatic drainage massages. Honestly, looking back now, every experience was completely different. For example, the first person that I went to in La Jolla, it was right after my procedure, like two or three days after, and she was actually like pressing my back and there was a bunch of fluids draining out of the bottom incisions on my back. That doesn't happen for the entire process, but that might happen in the very beginning for you. Then I went to someone else who used like this, basically like ultrasound type machine. It was very odd. There's like this crazy ringing noise. And then I went to another person in the Modesto area and then coming back to Puerto Rico, a completely different experience. I actually love my massage therapist that I have here in Puerto Rico. Mariela is amazing. And what I like about her is that it's not the same exact massage every single time. She makes adjustments. So like she'll work on certain areas that need more attention. Um, and it's a little bit of a different experience every time, which I love and I, and I appreciate because I feel like it shouldn't be the same massage every single time. So honestly, looking back now from my experience, I actually enjoyed the fact that I was able to experience four different people. You may want to book one, well, I would say maybe like two or three different ones, like maybe your first three or so, and then out of those, you can pick one that you continue to go with over time. 
Another factor to consider is planning ahead of time. So I did have a little bit of trouble getting in as frequently as I wanted to because I was booking so last minute. So you're gonna wanna take that into consideration as well. Also take into consideration that you're probably easily gonna spend $1,500 to $2,000 by the end of this when it comes to massages, especially if you're doing it last minute. Like there is one person that I went to that was charging me $160 for each of them. I've paid as little as 65 and I've paid as much as 160. You should also ask your massage therapist if they offer any sort of a discount if you buy like a pack of 12. So just to give you a reference, I'm now a month out and I get massages, I would say an average of three days a week and they are so, so necessary. I feel so much better after them and if I go too many days without getting one, I can feel the difference. So absolutely stay up with your massages. I can plan to continue getting them, but it's there's also this weird component of like, massage used to be like such a treat for me because I didn't get them very often and now I'm just like, okay, it's kind of like going to the gym, you know, just gotta put in the time. So that's just kind of when I, some of the information that I wanted to give you regarding massages so that it helps you when it comes to your procedure and getting your massages lined up. That's all that I have for you today is so let's go out there and create a life that you love.